Hello viewers today we shall discuss binocular balancing which is the state wherein the accommodation is equally relaxed in the two eyes the principle of binocular balancing also termed spherical equalization is that if an eye accepts additional plus power without diminishing its maximum visual acuity accommodation could not have been at the ultimate relaxed position so why would this occur Subjective monocular refraction requires occlusion of the non-tested eye. Occlusion can induce accommodation and so by Herring's law in the eye being tested. This can result in overminusing or underplusing a correction. Binocular balancing is performed in order to avoid this in addition to equalizing the accommodative effort in the two eyes and is the last step in subjective refraction. Most of the tests require relatively equal corrected vision in both eyes. Binocular balancing is not required to be performed when there is a total loss of accommodation such as in persons over 60 years of age and in pseudofix. Only those tests that do not require complicated instrumentation are described here. So first is the alternate occlusion technique with the correction as determined by monocular subjective refraction in place both eyes are fogged with the placement of a plus 0.75 or plus 1 uh, diopter uh, lens reducing the visual acuity to about 20 by 40 to 20 by 50 this would be about 612 to 615 the eyes are then alternately occluded rapidly so as not to give time for an accommodative response to occur during the time of shifting the occluder from one eye to another if the vision in one eye is reported to be clearer then plus 0.25 diopter is placed in front of that eye and again the rapid alternate occlusion is performed this process is repeated till the patient reports equal acuity of vision in both eyes at that stage the fog is reduced in 0.25 diopter steps in front of both eyes until finally the binocular maximum plus best visual acuity is determined so let's reduce the fog by 0.25 so we remove the one and put plus 0.75 the patient says the last time is still blurred so let's now add plus 0.5 removing the 0.75 the patient says that still it is blurred so now let's remove the 0.5 and put in a plus 0.25 uh still all the letters cannot be read so now let's remove the plus 0.25 and now the patient says that uh he can read all the letters so this will be the final prescription so as you can see the correction in the left eye is unchanged but in the right eye the minus is reduced by 0.25 diopters here's a comparison of the uh correction before and after uh this test The next technique of binocular balancing is the prism dissociation test. So like earlier both eyes are fogged with a plus 1 diopter lens after wearing corrective lenses both eyes are occluded and then a three prism diopter base up prism is placed in front of the right eye and a three prism diopter base down prism is placed in front of the left eye. The occluder is removed The right eye sees the lower image and the left eye sees the higher image simultaneously. The patient is asked to concentrate on a single line 69 or 612. If both the lines are not equally blurred, a plus 0.25 diopter lens is placed in front of the eye with a clearer image and the patient is asked again which is better. The process is repeated until both eyes see equally blurred lines. The prisms are removed. and the fog is then reduced in 0.25 diopter steps bilaterally until binocular maximum plus best visual acuity is determined the next is the prism dissociation test that is combined with a duochrome test and it is conducted in a dark room the prisms are placed in front of both eyes similar to the previous test plus lenses in 0.25 diopter steps are added binocularly till the black letters on the red background are clearer on both charts the patient is now asked to concentrate on the lower image and the eye the right eye is unfogged in increments of 0.25 diopters 
till the letters on both the red and green sides of this lower image are equally clear. The patient is then asked to concentrate on the higher image that is the one seen by the left eye and the same process is repeated. After this, the prisms are removed, both eyes are fogged with a plus uh, one diopter lens and then unfogged binocularly in 0.25 diopter steps to obtain the maximum plus best visual accuracy. In the Humphreys immediate contrast method, with the correction in place and the left eye fogged, a plus 0.25 diopter lens is placed in front of the right eye for about one second and then immediately a minus 0.25 diopter lens for half that time, that is 0.5 seconds and the patient is asked which lens is clearer. So this is how we do it. Only if the patient gives an immediate response to the minus lens does it have a place in the trial frame. If there is no change or the plus lens is preferred, the plus lens is added. Uh, at the same time, uh, it is also added to the uh, fogged left eye to maintain the fogging. Now the comparison is continued again with alternate plus and minus 0.25 diopters until a plus 0.25 diopters is immediately rejected. The procedure is repeated in the left eye with the right eye fogged. And finally, the monocular fogging balance with the just determined correction in place, the left eye is fogged and then plus lenses in 0.25 diopter steps are added to the right eye as long as vision is unchanged or improved, simultaneously adding to the left eye as well to ensure fogging continues. The moment it worsens, the last addition is discarded. Then the procedure is repeated on the left hand. So that's it for today. If you like what you saw, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from AP's Ophthalmology Pearls. You may watch my other videos by clicking on the thumbnails. Please leave a note in the comment section if you wish for any particular topic to be covered in future. Look forward to regular updates. Thank you for watching.